Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's make some progress on the game story. But... First we gotta warp back here and trek over to the Vale Falls. Remember the, um, Baltus, the King of Hyrule guy, said to look for the source of the flow? That's the source of the flow. And you can fuse kinstones with the source of the flow. It's, yeah, it's quite literally called the source of the flow. And... Our path... Has been opened! Ooh, a stone door! So, that was what they meant by all us. That source of the flow business. Well, this waterfall certainly is the source of all Hyrule's water. According to King Gustav, the, the final element lies somewhere behind the falls. We're dwelling long enough. We've dwelled long enough, Link. Let's go find that element. And I can talk. <laughs> Uh-oh. Spooky dark path. Oh, just, I almost walked right into a hole there. So I didn't see where I was walking to. But it all worked out. All is well. And... Oh. These are wisps. You can kill them just as you would with the uh, boomerang, like you could with the, uh, um, ah, what's their name? Spark enemies, I think they're called. And if you get hit by one, you won't be able to draw your weapons for a little while. And it does take a while for it to run off. And I also can't seem to pick up, oh, there we go. Oh, shoot, no! Can I, like, leave and reset it? Oh, I can't, really, wow. Interesting. <laughs> What I want to do here is show you the death. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, this looks suspicious. I don't know if this it is. Fifty mysterious shells. Oh wait, this leads me um, higher up. I don't want to go that way just yet. I want. No, wait, wait. This is right. Oh, there's a rock choo choo. If you don't have your. Um, your rock destroying a oh dang it <laughs> rock destroying ability from Swift Blade. I definitely recommend you get that before you have to deal with them. Otherwise, you're gonna have to bomb the rocks off them. It's really annoying. Okay, what's up this way? I just gotta see. This might actually lead to um if this is what I think it is. It's gonna lead to a uh, heart piece. Oh oh wait, I I can do this. Um. That's for the way back. I think. Mm, sorry, I'm just thinking here. Just seeing. I'm trying to think where I am on the world here. Oh, this isn't the path that leads me to a heart piece. Too bad. Well, it's mysterious shells. That, that's not all that uh, uh, bad in itself. Wait a second. Then that means this, this, then. This, okay. Gotta get myself back. Going back is just as much of a puzzle as getting there, apparently. And... there we go. What the heck? It just kind of twitched at the edge of the door. I'll leave that guinea to sleep. It's having a nice, comforting nap. Alright, let's make some progress up Vale Falls. This is a brand new area to you. Old area to me, because I've played through this game many times. <laughs> And you probably know how to climb walls, just press up. Yeah, I don't even know why I bother to explain that. It's just something that came to mind, I guess. Um, when you can when you can stone fusion later uh, with certain characters, there will actually be two treasure chests where these holes in the middle of these rocks will be. And right here, definitely activate that for sure. Because now we have a little warp point for us. Um, I could drop down there. Or, well, I'll drop down there first. No, no, I won't. I'll, I'll take this path so I can show you around the place. There's that wall of bomb, but I'll do that on the way back. Um, go th up here. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, this is wrong. <laughs> it's kind of maze-like here. Which is why it's kind of messing with me a bit. Beware of rupee like likes. Beware. Beware. <laughs> I 
Uh, why am I bothering to get the rupees anyway? My my wallet is maxed out. Uh, okay, this doesn't lead to a heart piece. Why do I maybe? Oh wait, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. You'll see later. There will be something there later. Uh, let's get bombing. Remote bombs, so much faster. It's a optional side route, as you can tell. <laughs> it really went into the wall there. Alas, I will not be able to recover the heart. It is lost to me forever. Well, actually, maybe not. I might might have been able to get that with the gust jar. Come to think of it. <laughs> nope. Ha! <laughs> uh, which path now? Okay, that that was where the ladder took me before, if you recall. So this is where the two paths meet up. That means go this way. I just went around them like that because I wanted to bait them into going the other way. And hmm, that's an interesting mountaintop. Hmm, an interesting sound. What are we here? Some kind of vortex? Well, we seem to have hit that end. What shall we do from here? Hmm. Let's watch the vortex. Let's watch the vortex and do nothing. Oh, oops, I pressed up by mistake. Woo! And for some reason we can walk on clouds. Am I still alive? Wait! What were you thinking, child? You just reaped the whirlwind! As they say, we could be dead right now! But I must admit it did the trick. Are we in the land above the clouds? Then there must be something here that can lead us to the final element. Let's go find it. Indeed. Wow, you surprised me! Normally surface dwellers can't walk on clouds like we do. My sister and I went to the Picori Festival in Hyrule Town, and we, when we came back, there were monsters everywhere. I wonder if I could just fuse a kinstone. I could call a good homeward wind, but there are monsters about, so I can't search for kinstones. And even if I could, I still can't find anyone to fuse them with. But you look pretty strong. Do you think you could maybe search for kinstones for me? If you do, I'll tell you a good spot for fusing. But you have a fusion, so let's fuse with Haley. And this is one of the chests that I was talking about, isn't it? Oh no, wait, this is an enemy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that later. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna hop down here. Just to see if she has another one. I don't think so. No, you don't. Okay. By the way, we've got a remix of the normal Zelda theme, and oh, you got a Kinstone Fusion. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Hey, wow, look at that. I've never seen a surface dweller walk on clouds before. That's because we're part Pegasus. You must be quite pure of heart. One such as you would listen to my tale of woe. You see, I went down to the surface with my sister for the Picori Festival, but on our way home, we lost the wind entirely. Now we can't go home. Mm. All right, Gale. Let's fuse in. Oh, sure. Now the spot is open. That's the thing that I said would open up later. Well, I said I knew it would open up later, and yeah, that does. I mean, there's, if I recall, a heart piece in there. So I'm tempted to go back through there, but nah, not right now. I'll have like a a catch-up part of sorts, so to speak. Anyway, um, all the kinstone fusions, including these, count towards the um, total of kinstones that you gotta do uh, in this particular 22 kinstone run here, so to speak. Oh uh, yeah, did I mention that, that uh, um, after completing the Royal Crypt there was 22 more kinstone fusions to do? Well, actually I did one before the uh, Royal Crypt, but I mean, you know, in, in order and stuff like that. And that they unlock and stuff like that. So we got a golden kinstone piece, and it's not the one that we need. In fact, um, I think there are five 
kinstones that you have to find here, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, I'll just fall through there. You can see the clouds. Oh, jeez. Uh, these are a shark-like enemy. They pop out. You can swing your sword at them as the as they pop out to try and kill them. They're like a cloud piranha. In fact, that is their name. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know if you. I, I wanted to. I wanted to, to to jump towards the camera. That's what I was waiting for it to do. Because if you've seen it, had very <clears throat> very sharp teeth. Pardon the voice crack. <laughs> anyway, I always get confused at the. Um, uh, cloud tops area here because I always always seem well, that's very nice <laughs> but because I always seem to miss a kinstone fusion or say a kinstone somewhere around the areas and can I fuse with this I can I might as well do this now then since I'm here because that's a that's a dead end path anyway and you'll notice one of these little pinwheels will start spinning that's why there's five and all. You got to get all the pinwheels going. See, this is the idea of um, getting the wind going, basically. I'm gonna land over here, actually, just to see. I think this is backtracking, actually. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. As I said, I get kind of confused in this area, so I'm gonna be extra cautious to get everything on my first run through here, if that's even possible. So anyway, let's start by following the wind. Follow your nose and drop off here. Um, I'll, I'll plop down here just to see what's going on. Oh yeah, I gotta kill the cloud piranhas. Gotta kill them all. That's gonna be the new slogan for another collectible monster game. Yep. Come on. This, these are kind of tricky. Oh, well, that one fell off the edge. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I wanted to try and bait the other one. Come on, go. No. Ah. You just never know when they're going to pop out. It's really, really annoying the time. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Dang you. Dang you. Well, for your troubles, you get a kinstone. Whee! Um, there isn't anything else here, right? Yeah. Whee! And... Let's see, what else can I do at the n n north part of it? It's, it's kind of weird. When you jump into a vortex, what happens is that you kind of have a drift to you, if that makes sense. Like, um... Well, you've probably felt it if you've played uh, this part uh, in the game yourself. I mean, you've been in the vortexes yourself. What I mean is that it's you don't have very sharp control, and when you come out of the vortex, it immediately starts going in that direction for whatever reason. And I can plop off here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Lakitu! Yeah, that's an actual Lakitu, you know, from the Mario series. There. All right, <laughs> gotta use the gus jar, make it defenseless, and there we go. <laughs> uh, Kinstone fusion. Do I have the right piece? I do. I do. And that makes two. I was gonna say three, but I got three kinstone uh, kinstones in my possession. Well, I mean. Three golden kinstones, and I've already used two of them. There we go, I got it all, I knew I could speak. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going around the perimeter, I suppose. See what we can find. Oh, I gotta get to that on the other side. Yeah, um... For now... Oh, that's not the... A kinstone piece? I thought it was going to be a kinstone piece. And uh, for some reason the clouds seem rel- I mean, it seems relatively easy to get kinstone pieces from them, like the rarer kinds of kinstone pieces. So I guess if you're uh, kinstone hunting, you should be going for that. Come on, come on. Pretty sure 
killing you guys unlock something here. Or maybe not. Aha! Poor Lakitu. No respect for Lakitu. <laughs> um, there we go. Snow! It makes three. Whee! Uh, what's up here? Is this where I get that treasure chest with the... Yes, it is. Okay. This has another kinstone piece. You gotta... I guess I could say loop around the routes of the clouds here a couple of times because of the way its layout is. At least that's how I remember it to be. But that could just be because I always tend to miss kinstone pieces on my first way through. Is this the one where I can get... A prize for defeating you guys. Yes, it is. Okay. I should always look ahead to see um, where there's a fluffy cloud wiggling in the wind. There we go. There's the last kinstone piece. And voila. Alright. So, just ought to look around there just to be sure I didn't miss any side paths or something. Hmm, might as well grab this, of course. 50 mysterious shells. And we. Um. Or, yeah, fall on here. I'm just trying to think of where to go next. Because, as I said, I always get terribly confused in this area. Now, why did you jump out over there? That is not conductive to my victory. Urgh. Do I even need to kill you? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Just want to kill you to be sure. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was terrible aim and terrible timing. There we go. And nope, didn't get anything from that. That's fine. Boop. Now, we've reached uh, this, this part here. This, you gotta drop down here. And there's this one here... There we go. And now this is going to lead back up to the one that I couldn't fuse with my first way through. This is why I always thought that you have to go um, through this route like twice. So go back up through here. And now this vortex that's north of here will lead you to the a spot with the hole. Which is... Oh, wait, wait, is this blocked off? Yeah, it's blocked off. Oh, poopers. Now, which part leads me back to that side? Am I gonna have to go like this? This would work, I think. Just basically backtracking. And... Right down here should be, I think, the last one, is it, right? Oh, wait. Oh, it's way near the beginning! Oh, no! I'm stupid. <laughs> now I got... I, I actually had this uh, in the bag, come to think of it. Uh, hold on a sec. There we go. And there we are. So, I just completely forgot my route. <laughs> The last pinwheel! Woo! The wind is back in full force! Happy days! Alright, now... Go into the vortex. And meet... Oh. Soon, meet the wind tribe. <laughs> Here's a warp point for you for later. Very handy. Now, how do you build something like this on top of a cloud? Maybe someone lives inside. If so, perhaps you're going to ask for the element. It's worth a shot, Link. It is indeed worth a shot. So, let's take a look around the edges. Where the pinwheels block our way from falling to our doom. Pinwheels are the fence around this area, I suppose. And I'm going to go through these one layer at a time. Would you look at this? It's it's my warp point from way, way earlier in the walkthrough. Remember this? Remember when I did the Kinstone fusion with the guy from a faraway land? Yep, he's a part of the Wind Tribe. And that leads you over here. 
And since I did the quest with him before I reached this point in the game, I'll be able to get a special item coming up soon. Anyway, oh, if it is an old Link. My quest to match Kinstones is taking me all the way up here. I'm not sure you've noticed yet, but we're on top of the clouds. Oh, come on. How could anyone not notice that? Well, tech well, I guess maybe the first time we were through here you can't tell because we're on the inside, but still. <laughs> the Wind Tribe lives here. They protect the path to the Palace of Winds, where the Wind Element lies. Mm, you don't have anything to fuse. Oh, it's you! I thought I'd never make it back here, but thanks to your kinstone, I did. If you're looking for something, go talk to the elderly woman on the fourth floor. The Winds carry all sorts of valuable information to her. Okay. And so you don't have anything to fuse with, despite wanting to fuse kinstones. Really, no. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this one floor at a time, so I'm going to ignore the stairs on my first way through. Alright, this is the, the guy shining his head here. Um, yeah, he does it for quite a while. <laughs> uh, remember he had the spirit that possessed him? And we had to suck it away with the gust jar? Well, talk to him. Oh, it's Link! Thank you for your help earlier. I've got something else good for you. So here, please take it. And remember, you gotta do this quest before you reach the Wind Ruins. You know, the one fuse the guy with the guy at the, the faraway land. That uh, he comes from a faraway land guy. And then do the quest before you get here. Uh, suck the ghost away from him. And you will get the Light Arrows. If you don't do it before you reach this place, you will miss out on the Light Arrows forever. And since I got them, I am good to go. As a matter of fact, I don't think I missed any permanently missable things, so I think I am safe for the rest of the walkthrough. Don't have to worry about any flubs later on, though. If you find yourself in the area again, drop by and see us. I should say major flubs. Well, 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 Link. Thanks for helping. Because of you, my gramps is all better now. Oh, wait, I was already on the correct kinstone with Caprice here. Alright. So, oh, this is one of the ones that makes a chest appear. Yep, right in the eye of that mask-looking sort of thing. All right, um, I'm gonna reset just to see if she has another one for the fun of it. I don't think she does. Just gotta confirm that for myself. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Just wanted to be sure. You can never be too sure. <laughs> yeah, do you have something to fuse with? You do! We of the Wind Tribe are, the, are very skilled at finding kinstone pieces. So skilled, in fact, that we have more than more of them than we can manage. We can't even store them all. I wish someone would take a few from us. I'm on it. But first, let's fuse some kinstones. With the Fluorus. Yeah, their names... Um, well, some of their names uh, uh, sort of symbolize like wind pat or wind and wind patterns and weather and stuff like that. And the golden rope appears at Caster Wills. Man, I gotta go back one of these parts and get all the prizes that are laying around the world that I've done by kinstone fusing with a ton of people. All right, so let's take these kinstones off their hands. Delightful. Mm, a red one. Woohoo! Okay. Oh! I should see if she has another another fusion. Just for the heck of it. Oh, you do! You do! Good thing I did that. <laughs> so, double flourish, fu flourish fusion. That was a tongue twister. Flourish... Flourish fusion, flourish fusion, flourish fusion. Oh, okay, you gotta you gotta try that for yourself. <laughs> and that makes another tree pop up at Western Wood. Oh, something happened. Something definitely happened. One more time, just to be sure. Not anymore. No, okay. We are golden. Alright, here's the elder. Let's take some more kinstone pieces off their hands. Awesome. And you have one too. <laughs> everyone has kinstone. Well, not everyone. Not, there's those two at the second floor that didn't have um, fusions. Wait, no, I mean the one on the, the second floor I had didn't have a fusion, excuse me. But he gave me light arrows. 
So, chest at Royal Valley. Sweet! Um, before I talk to him to unlock the path ahead, I'm gonna reset this one more time. Mm. Yeah, I'm being really thorough here. Probably because there's not really all that many people to talk to around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chest on the other side, right? That would make sense to balance out the chests, I guess you would say. One chest on each side for a symmetrical layout. Right, one more time. <laughs> Be patient with me. This is this is the process right here and oh my god, I'm I've been recording for a long time. <laughs> I didn't realize how long I've been re recording. Okay. I could talk to him now. Welcome, welcome, long, long ago, and then an age before that, our tribe abandoned the place you call the Wind Ruins. Remember that, that dungeon, that, the third dungeon? With our magic, we moved our place up into the skies. We are the Wind Tribe. We have been watching, and we know all that happens on your surface world. We know a small boy collects elements to lift the curse from a princess. I'm pretty sure I know that boy too. We know of Vati and his evil acts. The winds tell us these things. The wind element that you seek lies deep in the palace of winds above me. When the blade has been infused with the four elements, the way to the light force shall open. So it is told in the legends of the wind tribe. Vati himself may already know this. Surface dwellers are not permitted to enter our palace, but you are special. You may continue to the roof. And I should have read that in an old man's voice or something. <laughs> There's a tornado on top of this house. Enter it to go to the Palace of Winds. Revive the Sacred Blade and rescue the princess quickly. And now this lady will move out of the way. There's a device in the palace that allows one to fly in the sky. When I get bigger, I want to explore the palace and find it. I'm too scared right now. <laughs> and then she moves. Because we have permission to go on ahead. And here we are. So mysterious. So beautiful. Such volatile winds. Of which we'll find out what they do later. <laughs> oh, okay. That means I'm going to end off the part here, because as I said, this part has gone on <clears throat> gone on for quite a while. I'm actually getting a bit hoarse. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end off the part here, recover my throat. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.